Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn a new chapter in programming, and which is nothing but uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, in that uh, first step, what I would like to do is uh, in, uh, suddenly jumping from one platform to another platform would be a bit difficult. So first, let me understand the Raspberry Pi Pico, and then uh, the programming language. Then we can go to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so we should learn uh, MicroPython for. Uh, doing programming in my uh, Raspberry Pi. So first we should uh, understand uh, how the Raspberry Pi uh, works and what are the GPI pins and things like that. Uh, so for that uh, we will start slowly, we will start with Raspberry Pi Pico now uh, which can be programmed with the Arduino IDE and later we will uh, program this Raspberry Pi uh, Pico using MicroPython then we can move to Raspberry Pi uh, directly and where we can do uh, bigger projects and bigger uh, uh, goals can be achieved. So this is the first step towards Raspberry Pi I am very happy to uh, get into. Uh, so what we are going to see uh, today is we are going to understand how this Raspberry Pi Pico can be uh, programmed and uh, used with Arduino IDE. So that is what we are going to uh, understand today's uh, video. So this Raspberry Pi Pico is a low cost microcontroller board developed around the RP2040 chip by Raspberry Pi Foundation and it can be programmed as I said it can be uh, MicroPython or C, C++ like uh, the Arduino what we are using conventionally now. <coughs> so this is the pin configuration of this Raspberry Pi Pico. So it has uh, different versions as well, Raspberry Pi Pico 2, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, Raspberry Pi Pico 2 and Raspberry Pi Pico W. So these are different versions. So where uh, Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico 2 does not have the Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth facilities. Uh, but the W version has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well and this uh, Raspberry Pi Pico has uh, certain uh, features which is not available in any other uh, microcontroller boards like uh, ESP32 or um, Node MCU or Arduino Uno or Mega like uh, real time clock and uh, temperature sensing uh, <coughs> sensors and things like that it is uh, inbuilt in this Raspberry Pi Pico. So it is a 40 pin uh, controller board so which has uh, multiple uh, in digital inputs and uh, outputs as well as uh, analog input and output and transmission uh, like um, communication ports. So let us uh, see in detail what are the difference between this Raspberry Pi Pico with other uh, boards which we have earlier seen. So Arduino Uno we already used in many projects, so we may be uh, well versed with this board and Node MCU also I have used in many projects and uh, which we uh, shown in our channel itself. Node MCU's ESP32, uh, this uh, microcontroller also we have used in our uh, projects, earlier projects, 2-3 uh, projects we have used and the new one is Raspberry Pi Pico, for me new, uh, of course it is available from a uh, long time. Okay, so the microcontrollers which is used uh, in these boards are uh, different. So microcontroller here uh, RP2040 dual core and the microcontroller in Arduino Uno is a single core uh, at Mega 328P. Uh, here uh, in Node MCU ESP8266 also it is a single core processor and ESP32 a uh, dual core processor. You can see uh, the uh, processor strength here. So ESP32 and uh, also the Raspberry Pi has a dual core processor so that means it can perform the task uh, faster and it is having the uh, data handling capacity more. And uh, you can see the architecture for this um, uh, modules so, so it is a 32 bit uh, ARM Cortex M0 plus architecture for uh, Raspberry Pi Arduino Uno 8 bit uh, RISC processor and uh, ESP32 uh, 8266 we have 32 bit LX106 and in Node MCU we have 32 bit LX6 with the 600 DM IPS. So you can see the bits if the bit size is uh, bigger you know that the processing speed will be uh, more. Uh, so in that way the processor also strong and the uh, bit sizes also more so it can handle more data uh, the response time will be uh, faster. 
and again the response time depends upon the clock speed as well the clock speed um, compared to uno it has uh, greater clock speed but compared to other two boards the clock speed is bit lesser but still it is uh, far uh, far far uh, more than uh, arduino uno and uh, it has other features which can support the raspberry pi pickup gpios uh, that is input output pins where uh, in arduino uno we know with that uh, 14 digital pins and uh, in that six uh, pulse width uh, modulated uh, inputs and uh, we have analog pins as well uh, six analog pins here in uh, raspberry pi pico we have 26 uh, digital pins in that uh, 16 pins can be used as a uh, pulse width modulated and uh, three pins can be used for analog and here in node mcu uh, esp 8266 we have digital pin 16 and the 16 can be used as a pulse width modulated one and uh, node mcu esp 32 of course this is the uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, more uh, powerful uh, uh, esp board so where we have 36 uh, pins for a digital pin and pulse width modulation uh, 16 pins can be used more analog pins also available in the node mcu esp 32 uh, about the analog pins as i told you here raspberry pi can have uh, three analog pins arduino uno can have six and uh, node mcu has only one so that is a major drawback of this node mcu esp8266 um, if you have more uh, analog inputs then it will be difficult to use node mcu uh, until otherwise you use an external chip to multiplex that and uh, here uh, in node mcu esp32 that is a major uh, advantage we have a 12 bit adc 15 numbers can be used so that means a more number of uh, analog pins a time varying signals can be analyzed using node mcu esp32 and uh, communication as the communication is concerned we have uh, two spi serial peripheral interface and two i2c and two uart in raspberry pi pico in arduino uno we have uh, spi i2c and uart each one and in node mcu esp8266 we have e spi uh, two spa and at one i2c two uart and two i2s in node mcu esp32 we have more uh, features uh, four spa mod uh, connections can be possible i2c we can use uh, two and uart two and i2s also two so when you compare these boards uh, of course the node mcu esp32 is the uh, recent one and also more powerful but uh, raspberry pi pico is uh, nowhere uh, lesser than uh, the node mcu or um, the other one so it is hardly having uh, more features as well and the programming language as i told you micro python can be used for raspberry pi pico c c++ also possible in arduino uno only c c++ we are using in node mcu also we can use micro python javascript and uh, other languages uh, ram capacity so static ram we have 264 kb uh, almost um, in arduino uno also same ram in node mcu is pd8266 is 128 kb the ram capacity also more in node mcu usb 32 uh, flash memory we have uh, 4 mb in uh, node mcu and uh, node mcu usb 32 here in raspberry pi pico we have 2 mega uh, bytes in arduino uno it is very less 32 kb but the advantage here in Arduino Uno is we have EPRO which is not available in Node MCU, ESP32 and Raspberry Pi Pico. So where I can use this and what is the advantage for this particular uh, devices? It's upon based upon your applications and needs, how many inputs uh, and outputs you have and uh, um, what type of inputs they are, whether it is analog or digital and things like that so in general we can use this uh, raspberry pi pico for uh, machine learning and uh, arduino uno as we said it is uh, very simple and it can be used for uh, beginners um, because we have a more amount of um, libraries available for this and we can interface with any other uh, devices very easily node mcv esp uh, 8266 and uh, esp32 both can be used for iot related projects uh, if you see the price as concerned, uh, this is in my place and uh, this price may vary in uh, different suppliers. 
uh, in general uh, we have uh, raspberry pi pico is uh, very cheaper than compared to any other boards what we have here mm, the arduino uno is bit costlier because of uh, you know the more people uh, use this one and uh, ruggedness of this board may be concerned and the raspberry pi pico is 292 only so it is cheaper so we can use a simple project also we can use up to moderate level projects we can use in this raspberry pi pico so this is one big advantage for the beginners where we can use raspberry pi pico as your alternate for arduino uno and it is very compact as well so how to use this um, raspberry pi pico in arduino ide so let us see uh, by step by step uh, first install the arduino ide in your uh, computer or your laptop if you have already then we can go to the next step uh, in case if you don't have you can uh, download from the website using this uh, link which is shown here so adding the raspberry pi pico to the board manager so go to the files once you install the arduino ide go to the files and uh, go to the preferences in the preferences if you click over that then you will get uh, the uh, window like this and uh, after you click this one uh, in the additional board manager urls that box may be uh, free in case if you don't have any esp8266 or uh, esp32 if you don't have anything then it will be empty in case if you have anything then you may have that particular board uh, link so there you can add this uh, uh, link there so once you add this link so this means it will add the board uh, you know this in the board manager this url will be added so if you have as i, as I told you if you have already esp32 uh, and esp8266 then you can just put on comma and uh, include the the new one okay so this is the this is a, a link for this raspberry pi pico just uh, copy and uh, put a comma in the existing one and add the new link so after adding just uh, give save then go to the board manager tools board board manager then you will get the tools you can just go to the board and board manager then you can just uh, type pico then you will get uh, this uh, you know uh, libraries so this raspberry pi pico rp2040 this is the one which i installed so install this raspberry pi pico uh, library so once you install this library pi pico then that means uh, same like your esp32 uh, or um, esp826 this particular board also will be added to your arduino ide and that's it it will install after few seconds now if you go to the tools board there you should be a yeah, selection of raspberry pi pico in the board manager you can see raspberry pi pico then uh, programming the raspberry pi pico using the arduino ide how we are going to do it now you have everything so select your board pico so as i told you go to tools board and select raspberry pi pico model you are using either it is a pico or pico 2 or pico uh, w whatever it is just select that and uh, load the blink led sketch which is available in our uh, arduino ide so you will select the board like this you will go to the tools and uh, board raspberry pi pico so i have choose raspberry pi pico 2 so you can choose as per your hardware it is raspberry pi w or raspberry pi pico itself then uh, choose the version here you can see here pi pico p pi pico w and pico 2 so which one is the board you have based on that you can select this once you uh, select this one then you can uh, as usual you can uh, compile the program and you can upload the program to raspberry pi pico so uh, also you can you have to choose the port same like over uh, any other uh, um, programming uh, this one uh, uno or whatever you do the same procedure only uh, board select the board and uh, select the port and upload the program to the particular board so if you upload this particular uh, example then it will start blinking the led like this so this is our uh, raspberry pi pico 
so which uh, blinks the LED for one second on and one second off. So this is the code which I uploaded. So this program is uploaded to the Raspberry Pi Pico. So it just start blinking the LED. So in case if you want to blink the LED faster, so I will just put uh, 300 milliseconds and 300 milliseconds upload the code with the changes go to raspberry pi pico uh, pico 2 then go to the tools port it is already selected then you can upload uploading the code first it will compile and then it will upload so there are some warnings it's uploaded so that's it uh, this is the simplest uh, program which uh, we have uploaded to the Raspberry Pi Pico so like this one by one programs we can uh, do and then we can control using this Raspberry Pi Pico and later uh, my objective is to change from this um, uh, you know, C, C++ programming to uh, MicroPython so that uh, um, the next step would be uh, I can change from this Pico to uh, Raspberry Pi the real board uh, Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 so that we can do the real time uh, big projects using those uh, sophisticated boards. Thank you uh, if you have any doubts please let me know in the chat box. So I am learning along with you, I am just sharing what I am learning now. Uh, if you uh, like the video, please give like and keep uh, continuing our channel. Thank you, thank you so much.